is Jem and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be talking about the Byzantine Empire. I hope you guys enjoy. Byzantine Empire or the Eastern Roman Empire 330 to 1453 was the eastern se section of the Roman Empire which came through after the breakup of the, of the Western Empire in the 5th century AD. It's cat its capital, Constantinople, now Istanbul, Turkey. It became a capital of the Roman Empire in 330 after Constantine the Great reestablished the city of Byzantium and named it after him. Greek was the prom predominant language, through some, though some of its dependents spoke Latin, Coptic, Syriac, and an Armenian, the empire became a melting point of Roman institutions, Orthodox Christianity, and Greek language and culture. In AD 537, Justinian I the Great became the emperor, emperor of the Eastern Empire. Under his reign, they were able to, def able to defeat the Vandals, Ostrogoths and Visigoths and reestablished total control over Italy. Justinian's greatest personal accomplishment was the Justinian, Justinian Code, which is the existing Roman law which he blended with biblical principles. Justinian's legislative moves were greatly inspired by his graceful and godly wife, Empress Theodora. Empress Theodora was the most famous woman character during her, her time. When she was young, poverty drove her to become an actress and later on to immorality which was often connected to the craft. Theodora was rescued from immorality when she was converted and became a monophysite, monophysite Christian. Her greatest achievement was in the area of lawmaking. She sponsored a law stopping the sale a law stopping the greatest oh no, a law stopping the sale of girls in, for immoral purposes and abolished legal concubinage. Her reforms on marriage and family instituted mo monogamous marriage as the only legitimate form of se a sexual relationship. She, was, she also intact laws on divorce, which gave women better privileges. After Justinian, barbarian invasions threatened the frontiers of the empire from all sides. The, Lom the Lombards and other Germanic tribes attacked Italy. During the rule of Herod Heraclius, 610 to 641 AD, the Arabs, inspired by a new religion, Islam, arose in the Arab Peninsula and conquered the Middle East and North Africa. Constantinople suffered from superior Arab attacks in the 670s. A distinguished general saved Constantinople during the second attack by using a new weapon called the Greek fire. After driving away the Arabs, he took the position of Empire Leo III, a, sh empire, a Greek controversy rocked the empire from 726 to 863. Empire Leo III issued a law advocating incolonialism. Incolonialistic emperors required all religions images eliminated from the churches because the Bible forbids worshipping graven images. Those who wrote who worshipped images finally won the conflict and in the meeting of the Second Council of Nicaea, the veneration of the cross and religious pictures were authorized. From the 11th to the 15th century, the Islamic Turks distressed the Byzantine Empire. The people of the Western Christendom, Christendom were called 
on to help drive out the infidels. Crusaders responded to the call, but with a different motive. They wanted to occupy Byzantine territories and plunder Constantinople just like the Muslims did. In, in 1204 AD, the city was ravaged by Venetians of Italy during the Fourth Crusade. Byzantine raped regained control of the city in 1261, but the empire never recovered from the destruction brought about by the crusaders. In 1453 AD, Turks attacked Constantinople. They broke down the walls, plundered the city, and killed thousands of people. On May 29, 1453, it totally fell after two months of battle. The Byzantine Empire ended after more than a thousand years. The Byzantine Empire have been ceased to exist, but its greatest contribution to mankind still lives on. It is the pre preservation of Greek New Testament. The Eastern Church's Byzantine text became the foundation of the Greek New Testament done by Erasmus in 1516. It, also, it was also the basis of all Protestant translations of the New Testament during the Reformations, as well as 1611 King James Version. Thank you so much for listening to me talk about the Byzantine Empire, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye!